Hey you guys, Helen here, and this is English in Details. Today we're gonna talk about seven idioms that are frequently used by native speakers in everyday communication. We're gonna look in detail at the meaning of these idioms as well as the context they are used in. So let's get straight to the point. The first idiom sounds like suit yourself, but before I explain the meaning of this idiom, Let's look at an example that'll help you guess the meaning. Imagine that you meet a friend of yours who you want to invite to a party. And you go like, hey Susan, I'm throwing a party on Friday, you want to come? And Susan responds, oh, I wish I could make it on Friday, but I've got too much homework to do. And then you can say, all right, suit yourself. This phrase means whatever, do as you wish, it's up to you to decide. Sounds like fun, but I... No, thanks. <laughs> Suit yourself. Let's move on to our next idiom. Get out of here. In its direct meaning, this phrase means go away, hit the road. But when we use this expression idiomatically, it means that we're stiffened with astonishment about what we've just heard. And we don't actually believe what we've been told. For instance, your friend who recently graduated from school says, guess what? Google had a job opening for the position of software engineer, and I got the job. You can hardly believe it, so you exclaim, get out of here, which means, no way, I can't believe this. It's a vampire, Amanda. It's hunting in the hospital. Get out of here. The same meaning can be expressed by our next idiom that sounds as, give me a break. Give me a break. So, when we want to tell our interlocutors that we don't believe what they are telling us, we can say, give me a break, or get out of here, in the meaning of, come on, stop lying, I'm not buying it. The fourth idiom is, no big deal, or what's the big deal, in the meaning of, nothing new, or so what. We use these expressions when we want to play down the importance of a particular event. Here's a quick example. You show a card trick to your friend, expecting him or her to be amazed or at least surprised. But your friend keeps poker face saying, no big deal, I can do it. I'm shocked, I'm amazed, what's the big deal? Idiom number five, big time. It is used as an adverb to emphasize the extent of an event. Here's the situation. The husband comes home, and the wife notices that he starts behaving in a weird way. And so she asks, are you drunk? Admitting the fact the husband says, big time, which means absolutely or totally. Are you in trouble? Big time. Idiom number six, nice going. It's another way to say, there you go, or you did a great job, or well done. It is used when somebody has successfully accomplished an objective and we would like to congratulate him or her on this occasion. We didn't break the curse, you did. Nice going. And finally, our last idiom is steer clear of something, which means to avoid. For example, it is better to steer clear of him. He's a nutbag. I, I shredded my old boyfriend's favorite bath towel. Ooh, stay clear of you. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you soon. Bye bye.